and welcome to the 2009 Gasparilla International Film Festival. This year it's bigger and better than ever and there's something for everyone. So sit back, relax and enjoy a sneak peek of this year's film festival. So we're excited about it. Third year's coming up. It's going to be our biggest and, and best year yet. So we're really excited about some of the films we've got coming up. The director came, was in Clear Lake and he thought this would be a kind of a spooky town and be a good place to do a psychological thriller. So he approached Morgan Simpson, my partner, and, and said, you want to come up with a story for it? And he said, we've got these four places we can shoot. We've got a school, a sawmill, and a church, and, uh, and a house. And, and so come up with a story around those four places, and he did. So that's, that's how the story came about. He just created it out of those four places. This is uh, our first Lifetime Achievement Award offering in our, in our third year, and just one of the most beautiful people you'd ever want to meet. And what a story from, from A to Z when you're first hearing about her beginning in the 40s all the way to now, and just recently celebrated her 80th birthday and looks maybe 55, I mean, she's amazing. This festival was actually originally born out of the Tampa Bay Film Commission's office. Um, we had a goal, my predecessor had a goal of um, creating a sort of a large umbrella film festival for the market. There were many small niche festivals already uh, existing here, but we wanted something that would really kind of become a cultural thumbprint for Hillsborough County. So we have a very careful screening process that we go through. Uh, we watch a lot of film um, and try to come up with things that we think will connect with Tampa Bay. And part of that is about uh, bringing or giving an opportunity to local filmmakers so their film can show and uh, the market here can see it. What we did, especially because there's, there's not a lot of documentaries, you know, you go out and you shoot the person in India and so you have that footage. Or if you're doing a historical piece, maybe you have archived footage. Or if you're a big production, then you have millions of dollars and you can do reenactments. What we did, we found the, probably some of the most um, unique stories and interesting stories and we did reenactments of them from the 30s, 40s, and 50s. The good thing we have is that this is a historic district, so the buildings have to remain looking as they did back then. And plus, Ybor City is such a friendly community, and when, we were, when people knew we were doing a documentary about Ybor City, when you gave them a call and said, hey, we need to use this building, we need this, we need that, people were very accommodating to us, and that, that's really what made this possible. You know, we made the picture in, in uh, the Tampa Bay area, and St. Petersburg mostly, uh, and so I'm really kind of thrilled that a local festival is, is screening the film. That's great. The most common question we have about a film festival is, what is a film festival? It's movies and parties. Don't think about this being a DVD experience because it's not a DVD experience. This is not McDonald's. We're going to sit you down to a full course meal. It's going to be five-star chef. It's going to be the full rollout. When you come, you're going to be hooked. That's all I can say. Come watch the films. Come see the stars come see the directors, let them tell their story behind the scene, and you'll, you will, you'll be hooked for life. I can guarantee that. Well, thanks for watching. We want to see you this year at the 2009 Gasparilla International Film Festival. Now, for more information and more in-depth interviews, go to our website at gasparillafilmfestival.com. All right, got to go in and get a good seat. I want to see you in there, too. See you then.